But first, though, we want to bring you a little fun closer to home with Circus Vargas. They have an epic show coming up here to tell us more about it as Ringmaster Duati. So, Ringmaster Duati, tell us about the latest show because this is called, it's, it's about steampunk, it's right? It's about steampunk. It's called Steam Cirque. The theme Steam is Cirque. here. Okay. Um, they came up with a concept for a little bit modern up to the, from the Industrial Revolution to really the sci-fi uh, side of the steampunk because it goes back to the days of the Victorian days too. Uh -huh. So the show starts out with um, old time circus performers dressed like old time circus performers and being invaded by a bunch of steampunkers. Okay. All of a sudden the steampunkers want to take over and do their acts instead of letting the circus performers do their acts. So it's a battle going back and forth on who's on top of the, of the other. Oh, great. So almost like a nod to a nod to the past, but a, a look forward into the to future, the future, if you will. Correct. Yeah, exactly. Exciting. And I hear, too, that Circus Vargas is an animal-free circus. It is. It has been for the last 10 years. That's fantastic. Originally, yeah. Circus Vargas, we've been here for 46 years, mm -hmm. and we had a gigantic circus at one time. Uh, I still one of the largest circus under tent in the United States. Mm -hmm. And we're here in the Sacramento area for three spots to entertain everybody. Excellent. And, and tell us a little more, too, because I understand that there's a kid's show before the main performance. Is that right? There is a children's show that they can participate, the audience. Oh, wow. Uh, if they come like a half an hour before the show it starts, actually doors open an hour before, but half an hour before the show starts, the children from the audience can participate in the circus and be active in the circus acts. Oh, wow. So what are some of the things that the, they can look forward to participating in? All kinds of things, from juggling to tumbling on the ground to balance things. All kinds of different things that, that we do when we start out as youngsters, when we mm -hmm. start to train for the circus. Oh, how early do your performers train? Oh, wow. Um, I started at eight years old. My eight brother started old. at two. That's the age of my daughter. My daughter, <laughs> that you'll see over here, she started uh -huh. at six years old. She was an aerialist already. Mm -hmm. One wow. of the other performers, my cousin's daughter here, started as well. They, are, they started about five, six years old. Mm -hmm. She's a two-piece artist right now. Wow. Um, the young, the boy you will see, the young man, he started when he was two or three years old as well. My goodness. It's just like the Olympics. You start at a very young age because your lifespan of the performance is only up to a point, and yeah. that's it. And so, and so it's a very dedicated art, though. So it's like you're saying, something dedicated. you invest the, in. The yeah. audience most of the time come in to see a circus and go, oh, you guys only work for 15 minutes. But they don't <laughs> see the 20 years you put in before you exactly. start with that. 15 minutes and 20 years. And 20, exactly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 15 and 20. Yeah, and, and, and I'm hearing um, you're saying cousin and you're saying daughter. So this is a family It business. is a very family mm -hmm. show. Mm -hmm. I mean, we do have acts from other part of the world because we do every year. We bring acts from all over the world all the time because we play the same talents almost every year, mm -hmm. so we have to change our theme and change also the performers that are there. Mm -hmm. So we bring action all over the place. That's exciting. Okay, you gotta tell everybody where they have to go to watch you, and how do they get their and tickets? And I'm gonna have to put my cheaters on, because at my age, we love to do it, these type of things. <laughs> we open up, our grand opening is gonna be tomorrow in Citrus Heights, Okay. and we're there at uh, Sunrise Mall at 7.30 is our opening night, so we'd like to, for everybody to come down on opening night especially. And we'll be there to September 25th. Okay. Then we go to Folsom, and we open up on September 28th in Folsom at uh, Lakeside Church to October 2nd. And we're in Roseville at the Westfield uh, Galleria Mall from October 5th to the 15th. And for information on Showtime, you can go on our website, which is circusvargas.com. Excellent. And to availability to buy tickets or mm -hmm. any information you would like, it's on our website. Excellent. Okay, so go to the website, get your tickets. But you know what? We need to give away something for free right now. It's time for a giveaway. It's a great time. Oh, look at that. What do we have here, Ringmaster? Free we, tickets to the circus. We have free tickets to the circus. So right now, we would love to give this away to you. So it's the perfect time. Make sure you go to our Facebook page. We're talking about two VIP packages to one lucky viewer. This is to any one of the shows taking place throughout the Sacramento area. And you heard it from the Ringmaster. They're everywhere. So you have a great chance to go do this. You're going to receive four ringside tickets, complimentary popcorn and drinks as well. To enter, go to our Facebook page, like our page. Then next, you're going to go to the sweepstakes on our Facebook page. Click on the link to the left of our page that says Circus Vargas Giveaway. Lastly, share the post with your friends for a higher chance to win. You have to be 18 years or older to participate and only one entry per household, please. If you've won something on the show recently, sit it out, let somebody else take something home for free. But such an amazing show, great opportunity to go out, have fun with your family. As mentioned, it's a family show for your family to go out and enjoy. And you know what? We've been talking about the circus quite a bit here, Ringmaster, but you know what we want to do? We want to show our viewers what the circus is all about. So I'm going to say goodbye right now. We'll see you back here tomorrow at 1130 right here on Sacco. But for now, enjoy Circus Vargas.